I'm currently sitting halfway up a tree, <laughs> getting the treehouse into place. And uh, what I've done is I cut six 12 inch sections of two by two by one eighth inch steel. And I made a hexagon pattern around the tree, and I have a nice eye bolt, which has a, each one has a tensile strength of 400 pounds. So it gives me up to 2,400 pounds of weight for the tree house. And uh, you can see I'm 10 feet up a ladder, and uh, these, eye, these eye hooks will be used to uh, hold the cable that's going to be slung over this branch right here over that, uh, that bow spot right there. It's going to take about 10 feet on each side of the branch coming down and then we'll have one cable going from this eye all the way over to its exact opposite on the other side. We'll do the same thing with the other two pairs. So we'll have three cables slung over the bow and the cable itself is rated to 1,000 or 1,400 pounds. So with three cables, technically that only gives us 4,200 pounds. So these eye hooks seem to be the most, the weakest link in the chain. But uh, and basically I drilled some holes to hold those in. They have holes in the middle where we're going to mount the 4x4s. Four They're going to stick out about six feet to form the basis of our structure that we can attach our joists to and they'll be in an A-frame, which I'll show in a subsequent video. And we'll see how that goes. So it's time to throw some string over. I'm going to take some string and throw it over that bow using some kind of weight to pull it over. And then I'll, once I have the string over the bow, I'll be able to haul the cable up. It's, it's really thick. It's quarter-inch cable. It's pretty heavy duty. It was actually a pretty good price, too. And uh, I'm going to haul that up over the branch and... I think I paid eighty dollars for a uh, hundred feet, so not bad. Eighty cents a foot for quarter-inch cable, very heavy-duty cable. The cable won't have any problem ever. So, next thing to do is run the cables over. I'll attach them to these eyes, and then we'll start putting the four by fours together that will constitute our floor supports. Until next time.